It's time to turn the table on your mortgage. If you have a VA loan and have yet to explore the VA Earl, you're potentially missing out on a significant savings. Think lower rates, reduced payments, no appraisal, and the process so streamlined it feels too good to be true. But it's not. And we're here to show you why. Join me today as I dive into the world of VA Earls and unlock the secrets to smarter refinancing. Welcome to my channel. We're talking financial guidance. I'm here to help you navigate the world of home loans and refinancing. Today, we're focusing on a fantastic opportunity for veterans, the VA Interest Rate Reduction Refinance Loan, or EARL. Whether you're a veteran looking to improve your home loan terms or just curious about your options, this video is for you. So let's dive in and see what makes the VA Earl a unique beneficial choice for those who served our country and are actively serving. Who exactly is eligible for a VA Earl? Let's get into the specifics to see if you might be a good candidate for this refinancing option. The primary eligibility criteria for a VA Earl is pretty straightforward. You must already have an existing VA backed home loan. This program is specifically designed for those who have served our country, are currently serving, and have benefited from a VA loan. There are some scenarios where you may have assumed a VA loan and are not a veteran. You do not qualify. But what does it mean to have a VA-backed home loan? Essentially, it means your current mortgage was obtained using the assistance of a VA loan program which offers numerous benefits to veterans and active service members. The EARL is a continuation of those benefits, allowing you to further improve your loan conditions. The goal of the EARL is to replace your existing VA loan with a new one that has more favorable terms, typically a lower interest rate or a switch from an adjustable rate to a fixed interest rate. It's important to note that the VA EARL is only for refinancing your primary residence the home you originally bought with your VA loan and have lived in that. Pay attention for further information on that. Now you might be wondering about the specifics. Do you need a certain credit score or income level to qualify? Here's where the VA Earl program really stands out. Unlike many other refinancing options, the VA Earl process typically does not require a credit underwriting or income verification. This means the path to better loan is so much more accessible for you veterans and active military folks that are taking advantage of a VA loan currently. There is actually no credit score requirement or income requirement. Now that's going to be lender specific, however. In short, if you're a veteran or active service member with an existing VA loan, the VA EARL program offers a streamlined way to improve your loan conditions, making your financial journey smoother and much more affordable. It's one of the many ways our nation shows gratitude to those who have served or are currently serving. One of the most appealing aspects of the VA EARL is its streamlined refinancing process. Let's break down why this process is simpler and faster than traditional refinancing and what steps are involved. First of all, the simplification of documentation. For a standard refinance, you typically need to provide extensive financial documents, verification, credit checks, employment history, and much more. The VA EARL process, on the other hand, often requires much less paperwork. In many cases, lenders won't need to verify your income or employment at all, nor will they need to check your credit score. This reduction in paperwork speeds up the process significantly. Think about any time you've purchased a home in the past and you've had to provide income documentation, tax returns, pay stubs, financial documents like asset statements, bank statements, that is no longer needed for a VA EARL. Another key factor that streamlines the EARL process is the no appraisal policy. Unlike other refinancing options where home appraisal is crucial to determine the current value of your property, the VA EARL skips that step. This not only saves you time and money, but it also reduces the overall cost of the refinancing. Additionally, the EARL is structured to minimize the need for a full underwriting process. Underwriting, the lender's process of assessing your risk as a borrower can be time consuming. By eliminating or reducing the depth of this step, the VA Earl cuts down the process of the entire time it takes to underwrite a file, making it a much quicker route to better loan terms and overall savings. It's also worth mentioning that with the Earl, 
there is no need to worry about purchasing new property homeowners insurance. Since you're refinancing a loan on a property you already own and have already insured, this step is bypassed, further streamlining the process. The goal of the VA Earl is to make refinancing as accessible and hassle-free as possible for all active military folks and veterans. This means less waiting, fewer hoops to jump through, and a faster path to a more affordable mortgage. It's a tangible way to honor the service of our veterans by providing a financial tool that respects their time and their needs. When considering the VA Earl, it's essential to understand the funding fee and other costs involved in this process. Let's take a closer look at what these fees entail and how they impact your refinancing process. The VA funding fee is a unique aspect of VA loans including the VA Earl. This fee helps to lower the cost of the loans for U.S. taxpayers since the VA Home Loan Program does not require down payments or monthly mortgage insurance. For an Earl, this fee is typically 0.5% of the loan amount. While it may seem like an added cost, it's important to remember that this fee supports the longevity and sustainability of the VA Loan Program, ultimately benefiting those active military folks and veterans. Now, you might be wondering about paying this fee. The good news is the funding fee can be rolled into the total loan amount. This means that you do not have to come out of pocket at closing, making the refinance process even more affordable upfront. What about exemptions? Yes, some veterans are exempt from paying this funding fee. Typically, veterans who receive a VA compensation for service-connected disabilities are not required to pay the funding fee. Additionally, surviving spouses of veterans who died in service or from service-connected disabilities are also exempt. This exemption is a way of recognizing the sacrifices made by veterans and their families. Aside from the funding fee, it's important to be aware of the potential costs because there are many others. These may include additional lender fees, closing costs from title companies or attorneys, and any state taxes. However, the VA limits the closing costs lenders can charge to veterans, keeping them as low as possible. In many cases, these costs can also be rolled into the loan amount, reducing the need for any upfront cash. In fact, the majority of all the VA interest rate reduction refinances we do, most of our active military and veterans actually roll those costs in so they're not coming out of pocket for anything at closing. In summary, while there are costs associated with the VA Earl, they are structured in a way that makes the process financially manageable for veterans. The ability to include most of the fees in the loan amount combined with the exemptions for certain veterans demonstrate the program's commitment to providing accessible refinancing options to those who have served and are currently serving. The VA Earl program isn't just about simplifying the refinancing process, it's also packed with a significant financial benefit. Let's unpack these advantages to see how they can impact your financial health. The core benefit of the VA Earl is the potential reduction in your interest rate, no doubt about it. Lowering your rate can lead to a decrease in your monthly mortgage payment, and it's a major win for any homeowner's budget. This can translate into a substantial savings over the life of the loan, freeing up funds for other important financial goals, or it can be used to reduce the term of the loan, which can also save you tens of thousands of dollars over the life of the loan. Another important aspect is the transition from adjustable rate mortgages to a fixed mortgage. There's no doubt about it, we don't see nearly as many as we used to, but if you are currently on a VA arm, your interest rate and monthly payments can vary, sometimes unpredictably. By refinancing to a fixed rate loan, through the EARL process, you can lock in a consistent, stable rate. The stability is crucial for long-term financial planning and it also provides certainty in your monthly expenses. Let's talk about the overall cost of the loan, the total interest that you pay throughout. Here's where the VA Earl really shines again. By securing a lower interest rate, you're not only reducing your monthly payment, but you're also reducing the total interest paid over the entire longevity or the life of the loan. This means more money stays in your pocket, a direct benefit of the lower interest rate achieved through a VA Earl process. Additionally, the streamlined nature of the VA Earl process often leads to lower closing costs compared to a conventional refinance. With the possibility of including these costs in the loan amount and the limit on what lenders can charge, the VA Earl ensures that refinancing is as cost-effective as it possibly can be for all veterans and active military folks.
It's also worth noting that the VA Earl is designed for long-term financial well-being of veterans in mind. By making refinancing more accessible and affordable, it helps in building and maintaining financial stability, which is especially important for those who have dedicated part of their lives to serving our country. To sum it up, the financial benefits of a VA Earl are extensive. From reduced monthly payment to long-term interest saving and cost-effective refinancing options truly puts the financial needs of veterans at the forefront. One of the most important rules to qualify for this particular program is understanding the occupancy requirement and the 210-day rule is crucial when considering a VA Earl. These aspects ensure that the program is used appropriately and offers benefits to those it's intended for. Let's break down what that means for you as a borrower. First of all, let's talk about the occupancy requirement. Unlike the initial VA loan, which requires borrowers to certify that they intend to occupy the home, the Earl has a slightly different approach. For the Earl, you need to certify that you have previously occupied that home. This distinction is important. It means that even if you're not currently living in the property as we speak, as long as you've lived in there in the past, you will still qualify for this refinancing. So this is a great, if you are somebody that got transferred, the flexibility rec is recognized in the changing of circumstances for veterans and active service members. It's a phenomenal tool. If you're somebody that's taken advantage of the house hacking through a VA home loan, this is a great opportunity. Now let's talk about the 210 day rule because this is super important. It's actually a newer rule that's taken place over the last couple of years. This rule is all about timing and responsible borrowing. To be eligible for a VA Earl, you must have made at least six consecutive payments on your existing VA loan. Furthermore, at least 210 days must have passed since your first payment due date of the original loan before closing the new Earl. Why is this important? This requirement ensures that there's been a meaningful passage of time between loans. It protects both you, the borrower, and the lender, making sure that refinancing is beneficial and is not done impulsively. This rule serves multiple purposes. For one, it demonstrates a track record of timely payments on your current loan, showing financial responsibility. It also ensures that you're not refinancing too soon, which can be important in a fluctuating interest rate environment. The 210 day period also allows both the lender and the borrower to assess the long term benefits of refinancing, ensuring it's a financially sound decision. In essence, the occupancy requirement and the 210 day rule are designed to make the Earl program both accessible and prudent. They ensure that the program serves those who have genuinely used the VA loans for their intended purposes. And the refinancing is done under the circumstances that truly benefit the veteran homeowner. As we wrap up our discussion on the VA Interest Rate Reduction Refinance Loan, or EARL, let's take a moment to reflect the key takeaways and how this program can be a significant asset for veterans and active military. The VA EARL stands out as a streamlined, veteran-friendly refinancing option. Its primary purpose is to lower the interest rate on your current VA loan, which can lead to reduced monthly payments and overall interest savings. The program is thoughtfully designed with the needs of veterans and active military folks in mind, simplifying the refinancing process to make it as hassle-free as possible. We've covered the eligibility criteria, highlighting that the VA Earl is available to those with an existing VA loan and that it requires previous occupancy of the home. This opens the door for many veterans who might not be living in their original VA financed homes anymore. They may have been transferred, got new orders, whatever the case may be, this is going to help you as well. We also dove into that simplified process that characterizes the VA Earl. No need for extensive credit underwriting or appraisal and often a smoother and quicker journey to closing. This simplicity is a major plus, saving both time and effort for those who have already given so much to our country. The financial benefits are clear and compelling. By lowering your interest rate, the VA Earl can lead to a significant long-term savings. The 210-day rule, while a timing requirement, also acts as a safeguard, ensuring that refinancing is a beneficial move for you. But what truly sets the VA Earl apart is its understanding of veteran circumstances. 
the flexibility in handling costs, the potential to roll fees into the loan, and the exemption for certain veterans show a program designed with real life situations in mind. In conclusion, the VA Earl is more than just a refinancing option. It's a tool for financial betterment, tailored for those who have served our nation. If you're eligible, exploring this option could be a wise step toward enhancing your financial stability and peace of mind. Interested in learning more about the VA Earls, please do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe for more financial insights, and share this video with your fellow veterans and active military folks who could benefit from this information. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to managing your finances. Thank you for watching and a special thanks to our veterans for your service. Until next time, have a great day. And that was another guaranteed informational video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave comments below. Reach out to me directly. Happy to help. Have a great day.